Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video and today I got a toy haul. There's a lot of stuff to talk about and it's not just toys, it's a bunch of other things. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to be reaching over a couple of things. We got a big family, so we got a lot of stuff. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show off I got a projector, which is uh, something that I didn't really expect, but uh, I got it, which is totally fine. I also got this... Uh, the, the screen that uh, just goes up and, uh, you know, you can project things on that, so that makes sense. But also, they gave me a green screen to work with, and that thing almost fell over. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be able to do more videos with that. All right, moving on to the actual toy stuff. We've got some Lego Technic, we've got some Hot Wheels, we've got some Mega Constructs, or Mega as they're called now, and we've got a whole bunch of Transformers. So, starting off with something kind of random, the Five Nights at Freddy's cookbook. Okay, <laughs> it was just kind of random, but I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, also, we got these Star Wars wood kits. I got Grogu, or Jin Grogu, or Baby Yoda, whatever you want to call them. And then someone also got me the Millennium Falcon one. I'm trying to show that off. It's kind of hard with this set up, but uh, yeah, I got that. And uh, let's see, Hot Wheels. Why don't we take a look at that? This is part of the premium series. This is the Hot Wheels Batman lineup. It came with the TV series Batmobile, uh, the Keaton Batmobile, and a bunch of other ones, which is uh, pretty cool. Also got these character cars for the DC Universe, so that comes with Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Joker, Harley Quinn, and then we also have one for the Avengers lineup. So we've got Thanos, which is not really one I would call an Avenger, but okay. And then it also comes with Black Panther, Captain America, Iron Man, and Black Widow. And then, along with that, I also got this 20-pack of Hot Wheels, which comes with two exclusive Hot Wheels, so that's nice. Uh, moving right along, I also got a LEGO Star Wars set. This is a, what is it, a 501st uh, Clone Troopers Battle Pack? And, uh, yeah, I got the original Clone Trooper uh, Battle Pack, so I thought, hey, that's a nice inclusion. Moving on to the LEGO Technic side, I got this, uh, this is the Monster Jam Monster Mutt. Dalmatian, which is a pretty cool dog-looking monster truck. It's also got some flappy ears, so that will be fun. And then we also got this DC The Batman, so the Robert Pattinson one. We got this bike. I love building Technic stuff, but I never got a big motorcycle, so uh, the wheels are going to be brand new to me, but uh, yeah, I like Batman, so why not? Anyways, moving right along, I also got this Hot Wheels Mega Set. This is the Pontiac Firebird, and it comes with the actual Hot Wheels Firebird, which I don't have in my collection, so I thought, that seems cool. And then I also got the Mega Halo. This is the Floodgate Firefight. So it comes with all the Flood figures and Master Chief and whatnot. Seems like fun. Definitely got to put that together and not keep it in box, because it's not fun to keep it in box. Did that make sense? All right, moving on to the Transformers side of things. We're gonna start off with the Studio Series Core Class. This is the Bumblebee figure, which, uh, you know, that looks fine, because it's it's Bumblebee. I know the mold's not great, because I got the laser beak one, but hey, I like Core Class stuff, so, you know, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, next up, we also have the Noah Diaz. So this is part of the Rise of the Beast line. That's cool to get more from Rise of the Beast. And then I also got the Novocaine figure. Another little core class guy, and uh, yeah, I like the freezer one. I know it's not the best, but I, I like the style of him. He's got class. He's got style. Uh, next up, we also have the Studio Series. This is the Gamer Edition War for Savage on Cliff Jumper. Uh, I like the style of Cliff Jumper, especially the head and the colors. Apparently, work for the mold. So. Yeah, that would be fun. Also for Studio Series, I did get The Fallen, which uh, sold out recently, so that's cool to get The Fallen. Uh, yeah, it's just something that I missed out, so I felt like I kind of needed him. Anyways, moving on, we're also going to take a look at the One Earth Spark thing. This is the Nightshade. So some people are going to get upset by that, but I don't care. They. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, um... We also got the Kingdom Road Rage, which is going to confuse probably a couple of people. So originally this was a Target exclusive for the red card line, but we never got it in Canada except for a couple of spots apparently. And all of a sudden it just showed up on Amazon, so I guess that's how I got a hold of it. Anyways, moving on, we also have the Legacy. This is the Selects Antagony figure. So, uh, yeah, another Inferno repaint, which I like the Inferno, so that will go nicely with those. 
Uh, also from Legacy, we've got the Spindle and Impactor set. So I just need the bulkhead and I got the whole Wreck and Roll set. But uh, yeah, that seems fun. I like the Spinosaurus, so that's cool. How can I forget the most important thing, the Rise of the Beast calendar for 2024? Because it's the only thing of merchandise out so far that actually carries Transit. So he's the most important character ever in Transformers history. All right, moving on to more legacy, mostly evolution. We've got the Buzzworthy Bumblebee. This is Toe Line. This is the first time I've actually got a Toe Line figure. And yeah, it's a junkie on repaint, but it's Toe Line, so be quiet. Anyways, uh, moving on, we also have the Legacy Evolution. This is Beachcomber, which uh, was sold out for a while, and I, I couldn't find anyone that actually had it. And uh, somehow someone got it for me, so I'm not going to complain. We also have Detritus. So this is the Hound pre-tool or repaint, whatever you want to call it, but uh, yeah, Detritus, he seems fun, so I wanted to get that. And then, this was kind of a surprise, this is the Legacy Evolution Autobot Medic. So this is a GameStop exclusive out here, and uh, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to find him, but I managed to get him, so, you know, no complaints there. Uh, next up, we also have Twin Cast, which comes with Autobot uh, Rewind, which I think is the most important part of this. But uh, yeah, I've seen so many people just sell Twin Cast without the cassette, and I, I felt like that was kind of lame. Come on, sell the whole thing. But uh, yeah, I guess people really want that, uh, that cassette guy. Anyways, moving on, we also have the Armada Universe. This is Megatron. So I've got the Optimus Prime, the Commander class figure, and uh, of course I needed to, a Megatron to go against that. And last but not least for this haul is the Transformers Reactivate Starscream and Bumblebee 2-pack. I might have to order the Optimus Prime and the Soundwave, but for right now I got these two and they look cool. I heard a lot of good things about them and uh, yeah, they're going to be awesome to mess around with. So that is my entire toy haul. A lot of stuff, certainly. But uh, with that out of the way, I think you guys want to please like, comment, share, subscribe. Happy holidays and I'll see you guys next time.